This recording, I want to emphasize, is not one of mine. It's something that was provided to me by the company that produces a suite of products known as Style 3D. They've got some tiling, fabric capture and tiling software, uh, which I looked at briefly in another video. They are about to re release some new hardware for physical properties and optical property capture. So I'm very intrigued. And once I have some more information on those, I will definitely share them. Um, but I wanted to share this video because it provides an interesting different take on simulating a tailor jacket, and that's my world, and particularly how they deal with multi-layers like linings and facings and things. I wouldn't necessarily do everything the same way they do it, but there's still stuff to learn in. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty long video. You may want to speed it up, although it is worth listening to the audio during it. Um, and yeah, have a look. You'll notice that a lot of the features are very similar to Clove. So if you're a Clove user, I think you'll get some ideas out of it. Uh, I also have a video for pant and shirt, so I'll be posting those at some point as well. And then I'll do more of a deep dive into the software itself. So for now, enjoy this video. Again, it's not mine. It was provided to me, but I think it's interesting and wanted to post it for anybody who's interested in simulating tailored product. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make a suit. Let's open our software. Before we start we should import the pattern of the suit. Go to home file, import, import DSF, double click suit DSF. In the pop-up window, make sure these four options have been selected, and then press OK. And next, we should add an avatar for the suit. Go to Resource Library, double-click Avatar Folder, and Avatar Nana for the suit. Press OK. But Nana Avatar is not suitable for a suit not fit for a suit, so we can adjust the skeleton of the Nana first. We will find the chest is too high, so we turn on skeleton and click the point to make the chest a little bit lower. And then turn off skeleton. Now we can analyze these patterns. Uh, because the suit have two layers, the outer layer and the inner layer. So we can make the inner layer first. Find the patterns of inner layer the back panel. These back panel are flipped, so we right click and choose flip horizontal to D. And uh, the, the front panel, this two is for front panel and this one is side. Two sleeve, the under sleeve and top sleeve. And the color stand and the uh, this pattern, small pattern for the back, also for the back, and the two colors. Uh, we should rotate these two colors first and use this pattern for the interlining. After we have found all of the uh, patterns for the interlining, we can press simulation to let them fall down to the ground and turn on arrangement point. Select the three pattern. 
click on the correct arrangement point and press Ctrl D to symmetric pattern with sewing. Now we can use a hotkey to make our work more efficiently. And and for the color we can trace the center line to XSS, symmetric XSS. Select these three patterns by select and move to the hotkey is Q. Also the color stand and the upper color, but we can remove the hair first and the last one is a sleeve a sleeve pattern. After all of the patterns have been arranged in 3D garment window, we can assign sewing line among this interlining. We can make this interlining first and then make the outer layer. So we can ignore the outer layer at this time. And then use a free sewing or segment sewing. The hotkey of free sewing is M, and for the segment sewing is N, N, M and N. We don't need to match the notch for the interlining. Because the back panel are not symmetric, so we should assign sewing lines one by one.
um, before simulation, we can uh, trace the baseline to internal line of this this line and assign part of them. And before simulation, we can strengthen all of the pattern. The hotkey is Control and H, and then press simulation. Uh, forgot to assign some lines among the sizing of another side, and press simulation. Drag the pattern. Oh, I also forget to sew these two lines. Because we have strengthened the pattern, so it is very easy to uh, drag them. So the plate at the back center line, remember to change the sewing type from custom angle to turned. And we can make a fold line, trace this baseline to internal line first, and use edit pattern tool to drag the point, make the point cross to the line the back center line and give the line a fold angle which is 360 and press simulation hide this pattern and the avatar So this line and remember to change the sewing type to turn and this line then need to change the sewing type and press OK. Drag the garment. Show all of the pattern. Now that interlining has been already finished, we can freeze all of them and next we can make the outer layer. Again, we can analyze these patterns of outer layer first. This one is front, the side, and the under sleeve and top sleeve. And the back, uh, we should copy the color stand. Just Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy one. And uh, the color, we can make this uh, pattern first and ignore these small patterns. Now just simulate the outer layer again, arrange the pattern and 
copy the pattern and copy the pattern symmetric the pattern and the back Color and the stand color. Unfreeze the stand color and stress it. And now we can assign sewing lines among the outer layer. And for the outer layer, we'd better match the notch. Adjust the sign line between the side and the front panel to match the position of the pocket. This step is very important. for the pleat of the sleeve we can just uh, trace this line and right click cut and sew and delete no. Assign the sewing line. And the shoulder line.
Before simulation, we also can uh, change the layer from 0 to 1 of the outer layer and press enter simulation. Now we can select our pattern and free some. And so the outer layer with inner layer of the color change the sewing type to turn and this line simulation the front panel is facing Don't forget to change the sewing time. And then press simulation and change all of the layer to zero. We can add a button and button hole. to fix the garment uh, to fix the garment and then uh, use fasten button to, to fasten the button press simulation uh, with better assign the button and button hole in the outer layer Before simulation, we can drag the garment or uh, just delete the sewing line. Use fix pin to make sure the button hole is on top of the button. Then use fasten button to fasten the button. Huh? Where's my button? press simulation and then uh, delay the face pin don't forget to delay the face pin Did the avatar to lengthen the arm, and uh, again we can lengthen the shoulder waist. Uh, 
And now we can uh, make the plate, like the plate, the center line plate. The vent, the vent of the back center line. Uh, first, we should uh, remove the link editing. trees this line and give the full angle zero for a simulation and for the color um, it is a pig lapel, so we should make a full line for the lapel first. We can use this line, three this line, and this line. Press enter and select this full line. Increase the full arrange, full angle to three hundred and sixteen. And for the full line of the color, we can first uh, use use measure point to point measure two to measure this length, which is three hundred uh three point five fifteen three three point fifteen three. So we use add point two to add a point here. Also, the line is uh three point fifteen three, and then press OK. Use pen two to draw a uh, internal line for the fold line, and also we need to use edit curvature to make the straight line to a curved line. Now these two lines are merged, are matched, so we can copy the line. Control C, Control V to copy and paste the line to here to another to another color and also use add point to add a point here 3.53 press ok and use add pattern tool to adjust to match the point to the line for these two fold line we also should um, increase the fold angle to 316 and then press simulation okay. We can uh, for this line. We also can sew the outer and the inter together. Change the sewing type to turn and press simulation. Fold the color. Since it is not easy to fold, so we can freeze the color stand or use fixed pin to fix them and then help us to fold the color and um freeze the fold uh the color stand. Hide the avatar. Now we can select all of the pattern and the 
um, strengthen them and uh, reduce the collision thickness to 0 0.5 change the particle distance from 17 to 10 and we also can give these patterns a function called bound uh, for the color we can re uh, reduce the particle distance to 5 same as the color stand To make the silt effect better, uh, we can use steam too to help us. Steam too to adjust the shrinkage and uh, left click and drag here. Just the size now the effect is better. And uh, we can create a back pocket for fluid, and again trace this baseline to internal line and find the pattern here, here, and assign solid lines among the pocket and the internal line. Select the pocket and right click supervise over. Change the particle distance because this pattern is very small and press simulation. Uh, give the layer one. And turn that to zero. Turn off the avatar. Turn on the avatar, show the avatar, and then click the avatar to change the pose. Select the sewing line. Select the sewing line at the uh, under sleeve. Oh, oh, we just need to select the sewing line at the 
sizing at the side side pattern and change the fold angle sewing type to sewing type to turn press simulation Create another fabric for the outer layer. Select all of the outer layer and this pattern, this pattern, this pattern, and to facing pattern. Right click the new fabric and assign to fabric, assign to pattern. And edit the fabric style, change the physical properties. Press simulation. Select the pattern and maybe we can adjust the Now the suit um, almost have completed and don't forget to add another button uh, here. And the button hole. Oh. Here. the sleeve button hole Again, don't forget to sew the flap, flap, and the pocket. Trees, this line first. Press shift to trees more than one uh, baseline, and. Assign sewing lines among the internal line with the flap. This time we don't need to change the sewing type because if we sew the internal line, the sewing type is uh, will change to the turn automatically. And then right click, use supervise over copy another side of the flap
we can freeze some pattern first. These two pattern first, and then press simulation. As for this small pocket, we should uh, create an internal line, which is a center line by at equal distance internal line, or just use distribute internal line between segments, and then press OK. Cut, cut the internal line, delay the half of the pattern, and trace this line to internal line, assign the pattern to this one. And again, don't forget to change the sewing type to turn and just right click the pattern and use supermise over and give the particle distance to because this pattern is very small and give the layer one Copy another side, and we need to assign sewing lines again. Select all of the internal line and give the sewing type turn, and then right click you supervise over and press simulation uh, again we should give the layer one and um, freeze this pattern now the pocket on the front panel have been completed have been finished and um, If you want the suit look more better, we can add a pad uh, here. Go to results library, double click trim and shoulder pads, female shoulder pads. We can use this one 10 mm or 5 mm it depends on your real garment just use add and press ok select all of the pattern and move them a little bit select all of the pattern except the shoulder pads and move them a little bit up a little bit higher. Uh, before simulation, we can hide the garment of gar we can hide the garment and adjust the shoulder pad. For another side, just select and right click use. And symmetry the shape and show all of the pattern. Press simulation. Uh, 
for these two pattern, we can unfreeze them. Press simulation. Now the suit is already finished, and we also can uh, strength freeze all of the pattern because we will not change the shape. But for these two lines, we can uh, select them and change this. So in type to turn, increase the fold angle. Okay, okay. And we can use add pattern tool to select these two lines and right click use uh, add equidistance internal line. Give the count maybe th three and the space zero point four. Zero point four and give the count five and then press OK. Press simulation and turn off the fold, ren fold render. Now you will find the sleeve shape is better, more like a real suit. And now you can, we can freeze these patterns. Finally, the last step is to assign the texture for the garment. This one is outer layer. We can rename the fabric. And this is the interlining. Okay, and assign a normal map. We can go to resource library, double click the fabric and material folder. Here we have a normal library, normal map library, and use Ooh, Melton, Melton. Left click and drag to the normal map. Give the texture a color, a color. Uh, open the image and use the dropper to capture the color. Right click and assign to the flat flap. For the interlining, we also can use this color, but we can change the render type from mantle to silk.
inside the avatar to see the effect. Uh, yeah, okay. And for the button and buttonhole, we also need to change the color. Maybe this color should be a little bit dark. Dark than the texture, dark than the fabric texture. this uh, shoulder pad For the fold line, uh, we can just add equidistance internal line for both sides, uh, decrease the count, press OK, and select all of this line and turn off fold rendering, unfreeze this pattern and press simulation to make the fold line more smooth. Do the same step to this color. Turn off fold rendering. Now the shield is already completed, and um, so we can go to we can delete all of unused pattern, and and go to render window to offline render to render a front view of the shield. Just. Uh, don't forget to change the property editor of the image size, decrease the noise threshold and increase the mass render time. Change the quality of the light and material to very high and the image size to A4 size. Transparency the background and then press synchronize. You also can assign a light for the rendering and then press final waiting for the rendered image. Okay, the shield is already completed. Open the folder to see the rendered shield. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.